This is Billy Guyette with Guyette Roofing. Uh, I'm on a commercial roof in downtown Montgomery, Alabama. We've got uh, Baldwin Magnet School uh, right across the street. My sister is actually a seventh grade teacher. Uh, she teaches social studies. So I don't know if she can see me through the windows right now, but I let her know I was across the street. Um, anyway, I'm on a, a commercial flat roof. The building has several leaks. I've already been inside the building and uh, there's just several isolated leaks and it's it's pretty obvious what's what's causing uh, the problem here. We've got standing water. Um, this is always indicative of, of uh, leaks or, or leaks to come and um, roofs uh, are not even flat roofs are not made to hold water. They're made to shed water and this roof is definitely holding water. So over time, this water just uh, just completely eats away the roofing material, and uh, it'll find seams in the uh, roofing material, and just eventually slowly get in, and uh, that's what's happening here. So our uh, proposition, our solution would be to uh, provide some type of tapered slope on this. I think if if you do anything else, if you put another roof system up here, without addressing the the fundamental cause, the root of this problem. Uh, then it's just going to happen again. The new roof system will, will last because it's a new material. But then over time, it'll it'll also continue to break down. Um, so we've got to get the water off of this roof somehow. And uh, we do a lot of roofs like this where um, over time, the, the weight of the roof, the weight of the water causes uh, a uh, negative slope to, to kind of take hold of the roof. And that's, that's what's happening here. It's kind of a bowl shape. So uh, what we like to do in situations like this is put a tapered slope insulation uh, over the whole thing. And we can actually uh, leave the existing roof uh, on and go right over it with a tapered slope, which will help insulate the building even more. And then install a single ply TPO membrane over the whole thing. The, uh, the thing that we like about TPO is, is that the seam, um, Instead of the most vulnerable part of the roof, the most leak prone part of the roof, the seam becomes the strongest part of the roof uh, because the all seams are heat welded with TPO. Um, on this roof, uh, the seams are, are adhered with a, uh, with a asphalt uh, compound and that breaks down uh, in time and with sun exposure. So that's it. It's a fairly uh, simple solution to this problem, but uh, uh, just going over it with something with another roofing material is, is, is not the right solution. It'll it'll do the same thing. It'll break down. You've got to get the water off the roof. Um, roofs aren't meant to hold water. They're meant to shed water. This is Billy Guyette with Guyette Roofing, and I'm in downtown Montgomery, Alabama.